I can never get my voices to be consistent <laughs> throughout the whole thing, so... Uh, chapter 13, just by the looks of it, it looks pretty small, so I'm gonna try and, you know... Anyway, chapter 13. Author's note. Raven, fangs for gelpin' me, get Agen. I'm sorry I took- I talk your posture of Gerard, but that guy is such a fucking sex bomb. Prep stop flame- flaming, flamming. Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore! Dumbledore! <laughs> We both yelled, Dumbledore came there. What is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Volsamort has Draco, we shouted at the same time. He laughed in an evil voice. No, don't! We need to save Draco, we begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a darn what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school. Especially with you, Ebony, while he frowned, looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. Then he walked away. Vampire started crying. My Draco, he moaned. Off his note. Don't you thick gay guys are, like, so hot? It's okay. I tried to tell him, but that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. I had an idea, he exclaimed. What? I asked him. You'll see, he said. He took out his wand and did a spell. Then, suddenly, we were in Voldem... Voldem... Voldemort's lair. We ran in with our wands out just as we heard a croon voice say, Alar Cadavra! It was... Voldemort! <laughs> Alakadabra. <laughs> Holy crap, man. You can't make this stuff up. Chapter 14. Author's note. Fuck off, preps, okay? Raven fangs for helping Agen. I'm sorry I couldn't update, but I was depressed. <laughs> and I had to go to the hospital because I slipped my wrist. P.S. I'm not updating till you give me ten god revoys. Warning! Some of this chapter is extremely scray. Viower excretion advised. Wow. We ran to where Volsamor was. It turned out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was. Draco was there crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was torturing him. Vampire and I ran in front of Snake Tail. Rid my sight, you despicable preps, he shouted as we started shooting him with the gun. <laughs> he then suddenly looked at me and he fell down with lovey dovey look in his eyes. Dot, he said. In this, he is 16 years old, so he's not a pedophile, okay? I if you say so. Huh? I asked. Enabi, I love you. Will you have sex with me? <laughs> Asked Snake Tail. I started laughing crudely. What the fuck? You torture my BF and then you expect me to fuck you? God, you are so fucked up, you fucking bastard, I said angrily. Then I stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out of it like a fountain. <laughs> I say, my mind just, uh. You know those fountains that, like, spray water, like, straight up? <laughs> That's what I pictured. <laughs> Anyway, no! He screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. I brushed into tears, sadly. Snake! <clears throat> Snake tail, what art thou doing? called Voldemort. Then he started coming. We could hear his high heels <laughs> clacking to us. <laughs> Why is he wearing high heels? Unless he actually. Unless he actually wears them, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging, so, you know. So we got on our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room. Vampire went away. There I started crying. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so he could screw. <laughs> my god. My god.
He had a sex pack. Get it? Cause he's so sick. <laughs> I'm sorry, some of these I can't read in a straight voice. Straight, straight. I can't read it in a straight line with his voice. And a really huge you know what and everything. It's so unfair, I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls in preps here? Except for Bloody Mary because she's not ugly or anything. Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway. They're such fucking sluts, answered Draco. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hargrid says he's in love with me. Vampire likes me. And now even Snake Tail is in love with me. I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan have made me less beautiful? I shouted angrily. Off his note. Don't worry, Anna B isn't a snob or anything. But a lot of people have told her she's pretty. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse! I shouted and then I ran away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. I think it was around this time that uh, the author, I can't remember her name, outed herself as a troll. At least, at least I hope she's a troll. Chapter 15. Author's note. Stop flaming, okay? BTW, you suck. From no on, every time someone flams me, I'm gonna slit my wrists. Thanks to Raven for play. Ebony! Ebony! shouted Draco sadly. No! Please come back! But I was too mad. Whatever. Now you can go and have sex with Vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood red key. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Vampire. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to slit my wrists. I drank the blood all depressed. Then I looked at my black GC watch and noticed it was time to go to biology class. I put on a short rip black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front and blood red letters and was all ripped and a spiky belt. Under that, I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood. <laughs> with blood red letters, I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly, the guitar turned to Draco. What? <laughs> the guitar... Ugh, you know, whatever. And Abby, I love you, he shouted sadly. I do not care what those fucker preps and posies think. You're the most beautiful girl, girl in the world. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Then, he started to sing the Chronicles of Life and Death. We considered it our song now because we fell in love when Joel was singing it, right in front of the entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy, like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre, and Marilyn Manson. Author's note, don't you think those guys are so hot? If you do not know who they are, get the fuck out of here. Oh, MFG, I said after he's finished. Some fucking preps stare at us, but I just stuck up my middle fingers that were covered in black nail polish and I'm talking to Draco's now at them. I love you, I said, and then we started to kiss just like Hilary Duff, I fucking hate that bitch, and CMM in a Cinderella story. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a concert in Hogsmeade right then. We looked at each other all shocked, and then we went together. I think the story is starting to get to me. The spelling mistakes, the plot holes, fucking, uh... Anyway, chapter 16. Author's note. You know what? Shut up, okay? Prove to me you're nut preps. Raven, you suck, you fucking bitch. Give me back my fudgigan suits. You're supposed to read this. Raven, what the fuck, you bitch? You're supposed to do this. BTW, thanks to Brittany5655 for Tekken Mud Japanese. We ran happily to Hogsmeade. 
There we saw the stage where GC had played. We ran in happily. MCR were there playing Helena. I was so fucking happy. Gerard looked even sexier than he did in the pictures. Even Draco thought so. I could totally see him getting an erection. But it didn't matter because I knew... I knew no that we were the only true ones for each other. I was wearing a black leather mini dress and black leather platinum boots with red tipped fishnets. Draco was wearing a black baggy MCR t-shirt and black baggy pants. Anyway, we started marching to Helena. We Frenched. We ran up to the front of the band to stage dive. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the others. We gasped. It wasn't them at all. It was... Volsamort and the Death Dealers. <laughs> Sounds like a band name too. What the fuck, Draco? I'm not going to concert with you. I, s I shouted angrily. Not after what happened to me last time. Even if it's MCR, you know how much I like lick them. Well, cause we, you know. He gadgeted uncomfortably because guys don't like to talk about you know what. Yeah, cause we, you know. What? Yeah, cause we, you know. I yielded in an angry voice. We won't do that again, Draco promised. This time, we're going with an escort. OMFG, what the fu- Are you giving in to the mainstream? I asked. So I guess you're a prep or a Christina or what now? No, he muttered loudly. Are you becoming a prep or what? Uh, I shooted angrily. And Abby, I'm not. Please come with me. He fell down to his knees and started singing The World is Black by GC to me. I was flattened. <laughs> oh my god. I was flattened because that's not even a single. He had memorized the lyrics just for me. Okay, well I guess I'll have to. I said it and then we Frenched for a while and I went up to my room. Bloody Mary was standing there. Hajimatsu, girl, she said happily. She specs Japanese, so do I. That means how do you do in Japanese. BTW, well, that fucking poser got expelled. She failed all her classes and she skipped math. Author's note. Raven, you fucking suck. Fuck you. Serves that fucking bitch right. I laughed angrily. Well, anyway, we were... Felling all depressed. We watched some gothic movies like Das Nightmare before Xmas. Maybe Willow will die too. I said, Kawaii. Bloody Mare shook her head. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, have a confession after she got expelled. I murdered her and then Lupin did it with her because he's a necrophilic. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Kawaii! Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, come on. Don't do that. I commented happily. We talked to each other in silence for the rest of the movie. Oh, hey, BTW. I'm going to a concert with Draco tonight in Hogsmeade with MCR. I said. I need to wear, like, the hot set outfit ever. Bloody Mary nodded and, and rejected. Clearly. Oh, MFG. Totally. Let's go shopping. In Hot Topic, right? I asked already getting out my Hot Topic loyal loyalty cardy. No. My head snaped up. What? My head spun. I could not believe it. Bloody Mary, are you a prep? No, no. She laughed. I found some cool gothic stores near Hogwarts, that's all. Who told you about them? I asked, sure it would be Draco or Diabol or Vampire. Don't even say that name to me. Or me. Dumbledore, she said. Let me just call our Brahms. OMFFG. Dumbledore? I asked quietly. Yeah, I saw the map for Hogsmeade on his desk. She told me. Come on, let's go. We were going in a few punk goth stores especially for the concert. It's been in Hogsmeade. I forgot I just stopped doing the voice. Whoops. The salesperson was, oh my god, harder than true hard, except not because that's impossible. And he gave me a few dresses. We only have these for the real goths. The real goths? Me and Bloody Mary asked. 
Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many poses are on this town, man. Yesterday, loping in a snap truck by a golf camera pouch. He shook his head. I didn't even know they had a camera. Oh, MFG, no, they're gonna spot on me again, I cried, running out of the changing room wearing a long black dress with lots of red tulle coming out and very low cut with a huge slit. Oh, my Satan, you have to buy that outfit, the salesperson said. Yeah, it looks totally hot, said Bloody Mary. You know what? I'm actually gonna give it to you free because you look really hot in that outfit. Hey, are you gonna be at the concert tonight? He asked. I can't even remember how I was doing his voice before. Yeah, I am actually. I look back at him. Hey, BTW, my name's Ebondi Darkness Dementia Tara Way. What's yours? Tom Ridd, he said, and ran a hand through his black dyed hair. Maybe I'll see you there tonight? Yeah, I don't think so, because I'm gonna be there with my BF Draco, you sick perv. I yelled angrily, but before he could beg me to go with him, Hargrid flew in on his black broom, looking worried. Oh, MFG, Ebondi, you need to get back to the castle now. Oh, uh, that was a doozy.